Hey guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University, and King Thor, issue number one. Man, I am freaking tired, but I'm not so tired that I can't at least tell you five things about this book. But we're going to get started with that right after I show you the variant cover that features the wraparound, the immortal wraparound variant cover. That's right. This one's by Bennett and all them. So give me a second. Let me tell you about who made this book, and then I'll give you those five things I was talking about. So this issue is called Chapter 1, Twilight of the Thunder God. Jason Aaron is the writer. Isad Ribic is on art and cover. Ivy Scorsina, I guess, on colors. And VCs Joe Sabino on letters. Jay Bowen does the, the logo. Adam Kubert and Matthew Wilson does a variant cover. There's another by Luke Ross and Frank Armada. And uh, Gerard, Gerardo Zafino does yet another cover. All right. Thor's course created by Stan Lee and Jack Kirby. Wait a second. Isn't it Stan Lee, Larry Lieber, and Jack Kirby? What happened to Larry Lieber? Hold on now. You tell me I'm forgetting who made books? Or maybe Marvel's forgetting who made books. Anyway, number one about this book. Thor versus Loki. Look, man, I am freaking exhausted. But I got to be honest. Um, it's not just the lack of sleep, it's the, 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 the redundancy of constantly seeing Thor versus Loki. I get it. These guys are, you know, they're brothers, they're always against each other, there's always this big thing, but at some point, man, like, why does it take the end of the world and all these people being murdered by Loki for them to finally figure out that, okay, I guess now it's time to find you. Look, man, it, it deserves to have been Loki the entire time. It genuinely did, but, like, come on. <laughs> Come on. Um, we'll get, we're going to get into a little bit more on that a little bit later. Uh, but first, we're going to talk about number two on this list. That's going to be Shadrach, the god of bombs. Yeah, I remember that he was the god of bombs. Like, it's the most ridiculous freaking thing in the world. One of Jason Aaron's... I don't know. What, like, what, what's a proper adjective for this? One of the weirdest freaking comic book characters ever made. Like, here's the... The god of thunder, the god of lightning, the god of bravery, the god of death, goddess of death. You know, all these different gods of mundane things, right? And then there's the god of bombs. Is there also a god of guns? Where's the god of guns? Are they they're multiple? Like, is there a god of the AK, god of the AR, god of the M16? Like, what the honest hell? <laughs> what the freaking honest hell, man? Anyway, so Shadrach shows up, and he forgot that he was the god of bombs, but then he remembered, and he immediately blows something up, including himself. Yeah, cute. Anyway, um, god bomb my ass. <laughs> Just put a, it was nice seeing you again, because it brought a good laugh to my face, you know? It kept me awake through the book. Anyway, number three, the Girls of Lightning. Dude, these are, let's be realistic, the most useless characters in comic books. Jason Aaron keeps on showing them, and we keep on thinking, oh, this is so cool, but at the end of the day, they're not going to do anything special. Absolutely nothing special, and this comic book just proves it. Number four, I'm burning right through these, the damn sun. Listen, man, I love the sun. I love going out and looking at the sun and hanging out. You know, don't look directly at the sun, especially not an eclipse. I mean, psh, I'm not, you know, 45, but the point is... Actually, I'm 44. <laughs> Some of you will get that joke. The idea is that, um, nah, man, like, I'm so sick and tired of the sun being the freaking catalyst for everything being destroyed. Like, you know, oh my God, something's going wrong. Throw it into the sun. And especially Aaron, man, more than anybody else, I think. I think maybe this comic book I, that I haven't been reading that everything is the sun, but. For the love of God, man, I'm so sick and tired of, I can't do this, I'm going to have to throw him into the sun. Dude, throw yourself into the sun. I'm so freaking sick and tired of the sun being the ultimate killer. I mean, technically it would be, but in the superhero world, come on, man. Throwing things into the sun. And number four, a little bit of a spoiler here, so you might want to leave, you know, who the final villain is in here, because, oh, wow, this was actually kind of interesting. All right, you've had enough time to leave. It's Gore. Gore returns. Now, it's funny that we just had a conversation earlier on in the comic book about Loki's more powerful because Gore was just a mortal who became super powerful with that sword. Now that Loki has a sword, Loki, you know, was a, a god, and he was he was raised as a god, and he's son of, you know, Jotunheim fro uh, frost giants and whatnot. He's always been more powerful, and now he's just going to be more powerful, stuff, but somehow Gore shows up and winds up just taking everybody out. Like, come on, man, you just got finished saying, like, how bad do you think my memory is, right? Anyway, unless you could uh, tell, 
I wasn't a particularly big fan of this book. I gave you a bunch of really cool things about the book, the coolest things I could think of about the book, but at the end of the day, it really just failed to impress me. I just kind of looked at this as like, this is how Aaron's going to go out with the same old stuff that he's been doing for the past seven years? Really? I mean, there's not even a tying up of loose ends. Gore was dead. You brought him back. All of this was over. You brought this stuff back. So I don't see the point in it. But hey, whatever. You know, if you guys like it, awesome. Uh, if this turns out to be a really big seller, cool. I'm proud of the guy. I just can't get excited over something like this. This just was not for me. Oh, well, guys. Plenty of tea in the sea, right? Especially around Boston Harbor. Anyway, Professor Bill, Comic Book University. Class dismissed.